All right. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukha HaKadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who were well. Peace, love, salutations, blessings to the Lord's elect. To Brother Yeshaya, part of Men of Valor, South Carolina. And um, this quick video um, is going to be uh, something quick through the spirit, you know, um, exhortation to brothers, man, um, to, you know, brothers going through financial woes or financial hardships. Um, a part of this walk, you know, not being in the world, okay, being outside of the world as spiritually uh, speaking um, and physically for, the, for, for, you know, the most part. I mean, we're still here in our bodies, but we don't indulge in certain of the things that you people do. So that's why I say the physical part. But uh, spiritually, uh, we've been checked out of this place uh, through the spirit of power. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? Um, like the scriptures say, um, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. We just talk about a spiritual um, exile out of this place, man. Because spiritually, if you drink of this wine and if you partake of uh, this system, um, it will eat you up and swallow you up to the point that you're ultimately going to be found the enemy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Now, uh, this is the book of James, chapter 2 and verse 5. Uh, like I said, I was um, hearkening on the uh, the money aspect, all right? James 2 and 5, hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not the most high chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? That's right, so... Hey, um, a lot of our people, they, um, especially the poor that are preaching in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay, we got an extra stigma on us, man, because to be honest, everybody's poor. Okay, Elder Apostle uh, Gabar always breaks it down where, you know, um, being one meal, I mean, one paycheck away, you know, which is ultimately a lot of our fates, that means that you're poor. Okay, we don't have any substantial wealth to give to our kids or anything or pass down to our family. Hell, we're barely scraping by our damn selves. So, you know, hey, um, the Lord has it to to that point because, you know, the, the rich that are in faith, you can't really be rich in faith and rich in the things of this world. They're, they're like oil and water. They, they won't mix. Uh, the scriptures say, um, can you serve two masters? Okay, you can't serve uh, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, and uh, Mammon, all right, which is the you know God of money, which a lot of our people, you know, um, have uh, that spirit on them right now, man. You know, you got this rap music, Boss Man D-Lo, and all he do is talk about money, man, and you know, but and that's why the scriptures say uh, to not. Uh, Uh, scriptures say uh, to not envy the wicked, you know. So this is the book of First Peter, chapter five and verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that all the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So, you know, this is a multifold scripture, but right now I'm just applying it to, you know, the hardships. OK, because uh, having money, especially which I mean, not having money, um, especially in this society, especially if you have kids or a family, um, it, it, uh, it is very stressful because you want to provide for your God given family. You know, you know, that the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah bless you with. You want to provide for yourself first and foremost. Scriptures talk about that, but that's another um, lesson. All right, not leaning on another man's table, you know, and being self sufficient and self substantiated, substantiated, substantial, or whatever that word is, right? <laughs> uh, verse 9, once again, who resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So, you know, we are going through our certain trials and tribulations, um, you know, whatever the threshold of whatever uh, measure that we have, right? The Lord is taking us to the brink of that, whatever, you know, um, we are capable to be able to stand. And, you know, we're all going through it, all right, in one way or another. So, um, yeah, uh, I got a couple more. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 30, which is one of my favorites that I always lean upon. All right. Verse 8. Uh, refu, remu, uh, slakia, uh, Proverbs 30 and 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. So that's why, the, uh, you know, uh, in the book of James, I believe uh, we always to uh, say um, if 
if Lord will, if Lord will, because hey, we don't know, you know, what the next second holds. Nevertheless, the, the next day, the script and uh, you know, how I told us uh, not to worry about what the next day brings. All right, uh, evil is the sufficient sufficient for the day thereof. Okay, so it's already you know um, planned out what wickedness gonna happen, what you know, what good is gonna happen, what what whatever. All right, we're not to worry about that. We're just to pray to the to the Lord and thank Him when we wake up. And then, you know, of course we make plans, all right? Being humans, you know, we, we make plans, but then we say, uh, if you how about him, y'all shall will. Adoran Ratazah, Lord's will. Lest I be fool and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. So there you go. You know, um, so, hey. You know, lest we be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, or lest I be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. So we don't want to be found guilty of none of those, man. All right. And also, when you have riches, it's hard to let those things go. Okay. Or we can go to, uh, let's see. Um, I believe it's in Matthew 19. Uh, Yeah, here it is. Um, Matthew 19 and 21. Yahweh shall say unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. So the Lord came to a young man. He had great possessions, but he didn't want to give none of that up to follow Yahweh shall, which would have been his ticket into uh, being the elect, or, or ticket into you know ch that chariot. All right. But, hey, he couldn't do it because he had so many possessions, man. Then he said, Yahweh shall unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. And, you know, um, that eye of a needle, that, that's talk about a small passage. And a camel is a very stubborn animal, so a camel won't be able to easily just go through that small, narrow passage. Okay? It's possible, but it's not easy. Uh, it's not talking about a literal pin that you sew with or a needle, you know? It's talking about a, a narrow passage way known as a needle. And um, I'm going to end it with this one because, you know, hey, we want those riches that, that are stored up in heaven that, uh, that uh, moth nor rust doth corrupt. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, uh, verse 19, Matthew 6 and 19, Lay not up for yourselves treasures up upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So our desires are not of this to this world, man. Our desires are to the heavens, to pleasing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah to the best of our ability. And we want that spiritual reward, which is a uh that mark of exemption. Okay, where where we won't take that uh that karagma, okay, and we'll have that mark of exemption making us the elect. Um so hey, Lord willing that was edifying. Giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ruchah Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well in peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect out there. And um, until next time, I say Shalom.